Glad to know you're still with us. You're watching Business Breakfast on iBrand TV. While well, the Nigerian government has formally unveiled the launch of the NNPC Limited after the signing of the Petroleum Industry Act with the new motto, Energy for Today, Energy for Tomorrow. Group CEO Meli Kiari said it is a new beginning for the energy industry in Nigeria and for the world and that he has no doubt the new national company is supercharged to meet the high expectations of Nigerians. Now, what's likely to change in the operations of the new NNPC Limited and how will it impact the oil and gas sector? That's our focus in this conversation. And for more analysis on this, we have Sumbo Badejoku joining us via Zoom. Thank you so much for joining us, Sumbo. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning to you. Now, help us understand the difference between a public corporation and a limited liability company. Uh, what's likely to change in the operations? The major significance uh, change that we'll experience with this new development is that the government will no longer be involved in the day-to-day -day running, in decision-making, even in funding of the company it's now a private uh, company mm. though it will have some equity shares uh, which uh, will yield back some profits or uh, dividend back to the government was in return mm. but as far as the running of the company is concerned even the remuneration of the personnel is no longer the business of the government Mm. But, but do you, what are your expectations considering the fact that uh, we also had the power sector privatized and not, not much has been seen, you know, after the privatization, it was eventually said that it was sold to the government, allies and cronies and we've not really seen much change in that sector. So this is a bit different because if you look at the way the, private, uh, the power sector privatization was done, it wasn't holistic. Uh, what they did was to first unbundle the whole THCN and uh, into three uh, separate uh, uh, units. And then you now privatize one of the u three units and retaining the remaining two under the government control. There is no way there is going to be uh, effectiveness in that. Mm. Because the NMPC is just one unit. Okay. And uh, that is what is privatized. And okay. you have now. Uh, a separation because NNPC was playing dual role before. They played the operational role in terms of running the business. They also played the regulatory role. That regulatory uh, uh, right has been withdrawn from them. And that is why we now have uh, uh, two bodies, the upstream regulatory agency and the midstream and downstream reg regulatory agency. Mm. Those are the two bodies, that, the government bodies, for regulating the affairs of the entire petroleum industry and not just the NNPC. Okay, so do you see this as a way to solve Nigeria's energy problem, or is it just a mere name change? No, it's going to, uh, it's a welcome development. Uh, if, though it will take a little while before we have the full operation because uh, it's coming at a time when we, we currently have zero refining capacity. Mm. We are still importing refined products. And NNPC has been the sole importer of this petroleum product, which they will have to continue, but now doing it at their own pace on their own terms and condition, and may likely be charging the government for it. Mm. And the implication of this on the people is that the subsidy that the government used to budget for will no longer be uh, 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 the problem of the NNPC. The government would have to look for another way to subsidize the product because the market price will now be determined by the companies as a whole, not just the NMPC now. So if the, uh, the NMPC will sell at a price that is favorable to them, they are now like rendering service to the government and okay. the entire nation. Mm. Well, according to the yeah. president, uh, the provisions of the PIA 2021 has now given the Niger uh, Nigerian petroleum industry a new impetus uh, with improved fiscal framework, transparent governance, enhanced regulation, and the creation of a commercially driven and independent national oil company uh, that will operate without relying on government funding and, of course, free from institutional regulations such as a treasury single account. But are you confident about these anticipated gains? Of course. Do I say it's going to take a little while? 
because even the NMPC now will need to inject funds from where which they would uh, have to source for whatever they can get to put their assets back in shape. Okay. There are four refineries that is not currently working. They have to find a way of ensuring that these refineries are working and all their retail outlets. Uh, though Whose responsibility would that be? It will be the sole responsibility of the company, not the government. Oh, I see. That's where the government can come I mean, is uh, maybe if they are in need of a bailout, which I doubt. Government would only come in to give bailouts in the area of bringing down the price to be affordable for the people. But as far as the other uh, management of the assets and their liabilities are concerned, it is no business of the government. Even the government will no longer be responsible for the payment of salaries and remuneration of uh, the, the personnel. Oh, so does that mean the companies would be the ones to revamp the moribund refineries or? Are we still considering selling these refineries to them? There's no point selling. It's okay. part of the asset that has been liquidated. So they will have to look for ways to ensure that they are operating because it is their asset, part of the asset that was that has been now privatized. It was privatized with the NNPC because it's part of the NNPC asset. So it's not of the business of the government again. So indirectly, it's still being sold to them, isn't it? Because they are now acquiring it. Now, we, it's, the privatization would be the right word, and not outright sale. Because okay. uh, I told you, the government still retains some equity uh, shares within the company, meaning that whatever product they made at the end of the day, uh, that percentage goes back to the government. Oh. But the idea of uh, coming to remit into the federation accounts on a monthly basis would no longer be there, meaning that government will rely on alternative source of funding through non-oil revenue. Well, luckily, the government has been doing that because uh, if you look at the budget this year and last year budget, the non-oil uh, sector uh, is projected to generate more revenue than the oil sector. Mm -hmm. So they have to focus more on that, and they have to focus more on diversification of the economy, looking at agriculture, looking at solid minerals to generate funds and mm -hmm. not relying on sale of crude, just okay. uh, sale of crude. Well, according to the NNPC boss, Meli Kiari, the company will now pay taxes, royalties, deliver dividends to its shareholders. Uh, but who are these shareholders and how would this impact the economy as regards uh, generating revenue for the country? For now, the only shareholder they have is the government mm. because their IPO is not ready. But according to the uh, group manager or group CEO now, uh, that's the new title he carries, that's talking about <laughs> Melik. By mid next year, the initial public offer will be available for sales at the stock exchange market. Mm. So it is when they do that, that's when they will generate enough money to probably uh, revamp their assets that is dilapidated and upgrade the facilities. The who that will subscribe to the IPOs are now going to be the shareholders. Mm. Well, the NNPC had failed to make any remittance to uh, factions this year. They argued that the amount they spend on fuel subsidy monthly had eroded the funds which they would have remitted to the committee. But are we going to go back to, to the books to check out how, how those funds will be remitted or are we still also continuing, continuing with the payment of subsidy? The federation accounts, uh, the arrears, according to the uh, to Milikiari, is not going to be the responsibility of the new company. Uh, it's a case of old things, old things passing away, mm. uh, sort of as I can use for that. But uh, in the issue of subsidy, the government will decide on. All right, Sumba Badijoko, they're analyzing this issue, uh, talking about the NNPC becoming a limited company, what impact it would have on the oil and gas sector and also on the Nigerian economy generally. And, of course, it was talking about how uh, the, you know, payment of subsidy would, also, would, would also be carried out if it will continue or if it would stop. This is some of the issues uh, we're analyzing on the show today. Simba, are you back with us? All right, we'll take a break now. We'll come back. We'll continue the conversation with Simba. Please stay with us.
All right, thank you for staying with us. Still discussed, discussed, discussing the issues surrounding the NNPC becoming a limited company. Well, the NNPC had failed to make any remittance to FAC since this year, and uh, we're talking about the fact that they're also paying subsidy, and they have said they have not been able to pay subsidy because of the fact, or rather, they've not been able to remit any amount to the uh, Federation accounts because of the fact that they're paying subsidy, and Sumba Badijoko was about to react to that. Sumba, welcome back. Thank you. So let's get your reaction to that. Yeah, I said, though, the issue of uh, subsidy, uh, uh, the unremitted fund uh, that have become an area, uh, falling into areas now, uh, will be a case of all things passing away. I said that's the narrative I can give to them mm -hmm. because um, the new company is not going to be responsible for the liabilities of the old corporation. So they are starting afresh. It's a fresh balance sheet for them. And uh, that's the way they have uh, explained it. So the government now haven't survived three months without uh, any serious remittance from the uh, corporation. I believe can survive without any remittance from corporation. Mm. But the issue that would later be ex that need to, that the government needs to be uh, to explain is that was the the proceed of whatever they make from their the uh, the, uh, the the investment in the company. How will it be shared? Because the federal government cannot tell us that uh, the, the, the has to be the, their own asset is just the asset of the federal government alone, for that of the entire component units or the three tiers of government in the federation. So if they begin to get their dividends from the company, how would they be sharing it? They need to come out clearly on that. That's much, not so much as been said. As regards that, the only thing we know that is out there in the public domain is that the Petroleum Industry Act has been signed, and by virtue of that act, the NNPC has become a private company with the government having shares in there. So part of that share is what to exist, a joint share owned by the three tiers of government, or is it just the federal government uh, equity alone? That is what uh, the government needs to really explain to mm. people. But findings have shown that uh, between January and May this year, the oil company spent about 1.274 trillion naira on petrol subsidy. And that's, of course, been bec because they are the sole importer of the commodity into Nigeria. But they described the subsidy uh, as on the recovery of a premium motor spirit value shortfall. What are your thoughts on this? Sumba, can you hear me? Okay, I so. Can hear you. Yes. You hear me? Yeah, it's oh, breaking off. There's a network. Yes. I think it's yes, did you, get, did you get the question? Okay, uh, some network glitches there. But of course, we'll fix that. We're still talking about the NNPCs becoming, the NNPC becoming a limited company and w what it says or what it, it's going to, uh, how it's going to impact the Nigerian economy. And uh, Sumba Badijoko has been talking to us about how the federal government can work with these private owners who, of course, would now be in charge, the private companies who would now be in charge of the NNPC, work together to ensure that there's a smooth running of the affairs of the of the downstream sector. And uh, we're also talking about the issue of subsidy. The NNPC has not been able to remit uh, to the Federation account in the past one year due to the fact that uh, they claim that the subsidy payment has eroded the money that they would have remitted to the Federation account. So, Joko, thank you for joining us again. Okay, we kind of still hear him. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll pick up from where we stopped. Please stay with us.